So it's a very chilly morning here in Michigan. Uh, we got down to about 40 something last night. Not as cold as they said we were going to get to, but it was chilly. And tonight they're saying a low of 38. Um, so we'll have to see what happens here. I know they had some freeze warnings up in Traverse City and Mackinac, but down here uh, in the lower part of the thumb, we didn't get that warning. And so anyhow, I'm going to just give you a quick update on a few of my figs that I'm hoping to still give you a taste from. So I'm going to go over and show you my CBBN first. So let's go take a peek of that one and some of the others. So here it is, my CBBN. And um, it's, it's not soft at all. Well, maybe a little give, teeny bit of a give. Uh, pretty closed eye, it looks a little open. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. But uh, hoping to get this one. I might move this one into the greenhouse tonight. I really don't have room because later on I'll be showing you guys um, my makeover of my greenhouse. But anyhow, that's one of my figs that I'm looking forward to trying still because I haven't had it yet. And you can tell it's a very, very small tree. So um, here's my Colonel Littman's Black. It's quite doing nice. I have about one, two, three three, four, five really ripening figs on this particular tree right now. There's a couple of them. So it's quite high, so it's kind of hard to show you. Um, then over here I have my Italian 258. Haven't had this fig. Heard it was a great one for this area. So there's this one. This one's quite large. And the other two um, are getting there. I have also two more, or three more actually, on this branch down here. It kind of grew funny. So I'll be cutting this off and tilting this to make this more of a tree. And then over here I have some more as well. So over here, <clears throat> man, I got a dry throat, is my lemon, Chondria. And she has, I've already had a couple reviews on her, and they've been mixed, which is strange. And it could be maybe the weather getting colder is affecting her ability to ripen better. But the last one was really blah. But this one um, is my next one. And she does have some nice sugar spots on her. So anyhow, there's this one. And then one I'm really looking forward to because I had last year. It was wonderful. And this is actually kind of a slow-growing tree for some reason. Um, I did a potter just recently as well. So hopefully that'll help with her growth. And I kind of, she's kind of, kind of growing on an angle, but she's a very super large fig and excellent fig. Oh, I'm looking very forward to having her. Um, you can kind of see some of the white on the back of the leaves. That was from my um, video on the uh, Kaleo and clay that I did. And you can see it on the tree over here. It's actually quite lasted quite a while. So you can check out that video if you'd like. Um, in my playlist, you can find it. And uh, let's see. Uh, this is my um, Solstice, the VDS. And I'm really hoping, where did it go? Right in here. Let's see if I can get the, I should probably go on a different angle. But I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get this one. But it is a young tree. These are all my young trees in this side. This is my Albanian fig. It was looking really good, but really slowed down in production. So I might have to do a couple things to see if I can get these guys to ripen quicker. Um, hopefully we have a little warm up, but it doesn't look like it right now in the forecast, but I'm hoping to have this one as a taste test this year. Uh, let's see, and then over here is Dulce Rafina. I'm hoping to have a fig off of her. She's coming very close. Let me walk over there and show you that one. Okay, here she is. Dulce Rafina, if I'm saying that right. She's a good size fig. She's starting to get soft. Not quite there, but I'm hoping to try her. Um, when I was gifted this tree from Dan Foster in Michigan, uh, it got the Ambrosio beetle. And I had to cut down this really, really large tree. 
um, and this this branch was not affected. So I um, and it had some roots on it. Okay, focus, focus there. <laughs> so this is one of the branches from it that survived. And so this would be the first year that I get to try it. This has been two years waiting on this particular one. Do need to cut back this dead part of this branch. So I gotta do some major grooming. Um, and then let's see what else we have. Um, the CBB, um, oh, I can't think of Coldy Dam Blanc, B. B. <laughs> Good Lordy. I don't know if I'm gonna get one off of this again. It's kind of disappointing. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, it, it was a really bad beginning and end of our season here in Michigan. Last year was wonderful. Um, but for some reason, it didn't produce last year either. But it's got some, it's got some nice figs. So I'm, I'm probably going to do a couple of things to try to get these guys to go a little faster. And that is de-leaf it. Sometimes de-leafing the uh, fig tree will help it develop some also say some olive oil um on the fig i not tried it so i might just do that on there and then if i can get the greenhouse kind of empty i think i might put a couple in there um i have done the dance in the garage in and out in and out in and out so i might try that as well um next fig that i am hoping to have a taste test is on my blava so blava is right here in this pot and um i have had mixed feelings about the fig off and on every year but i do have one coming so there's my one blava one year i liked it and one year i did not so there she is she's looking really nice tight eye so we'll see about that so that's another one of them that i'm hoping to review this is another one I'm not very hopeful for. Hmm, there's the geese. Off they go. Um, I'm really hoping that I get to try this one as well. It has quite a few figs on it. This one is Vasilika Sinka. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm really hoping to get uh, figs off this particular one. It's a Greek variety, so we shall see. Uh, my Greek friends, uh, neighbors, are down in Florida going through the hurricane, so I send my best wishes to all you down there that are suffering and not having power right now. I know you probably are kind of used to it because you get prepared, but I'm not sure if my neighbors have ever gone through a hurricane, so I'm thinking of you. Anyhow, um, this is one of the figs I'm hoping to have a taste testing on. Uh, the one I just did was my LSU, wait a minute, get it right, right, yeah, LSU Gold, and they are large, large, honey-like figs, very, very yummy. So I have quite a few on this tree still that are ripening, um, and then of course I've done reviews on my True DBO L4, so if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. I almost forgot to come up here and show you my uh, Adriatic JH. It's doing really, really well. It's quite large. Here's my hand. So, kind of a little bit of an open eye. Anyway, I wanted to show you this one. This one's getting really close. It's getting quite soft. So, this is the other one that I'm hoping to have a little review on. It's very, very nice fig. I have quite a few plumping up. There's one right behind it. Let's see how that one feels. That one feels maybe a little less, a little more soft, I mean. And then I have some huge ones over on that branch. Uh, the other ones, there's there's a couple, there's one maybe plumping up on this one. But let me go over here and show you this if I can. I gotta watch where I'm stepping. Oop, hit my gutter. But this one, wow, maybe this one's ready. Let me look, I gotta get back here. Oop. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one is, this one's very soft. Not, not soft enough. But let's see. Oh, this one's got lots of nice crackling on it. Oh my, here, see. There, see? <laughs> the leaves always get in the way. Oh, that one's, that one might be on a video real shortly. I might do like a short on that. So anyhow, look forward to seeing this one on a video soon. 
Adriatic gauge, by the way, too. I think I said that. Okay, this one is Carne Dantaselle. Um, I had gotten a brie bar off of this one, I, I believe. <laughs> it's awful how you can't remember. But on <laughs> the older you get. But um, anyhow, uh, she's starting to ripen up her main crop. So I'm hoping to get some of her as well. But I'm telling you, my fingers are frozen out here trying to uh, show you these videos. But um, here's my Genovese Nero. I just did a wonderful, um, probably my best collection of Tasty Figs so far was on that one. Like they were all delicious. And she is ripening up. So um, if Elizabeth is watching this, um, I have to do you a little air layering because I um, completely forgot that I need to give her um an air layering or something on this tree so next spring this is what i will be doing for her um anyhow and they are just very big figs this one's really really large compared to the first one i think it was 45 grams uh don't quote me on that but i think it was 45 grams my first one uh the lsu gold i think was the one that was 55 grams my biggest fig so far so I have these protected. Um, and I think there was one more back in here that I, I think I'm hoping to have. And I think it's Rango. Yes, Rango. And um, she does have smaller little figs. I think it's going to be a green fig. I'm not sure. Haven't had that one either. Um, that's a Francesco. Uh, I hate to say his last name, but it starts with an L, and that's off of his collection, I guess. So, hoping that that's a really good one. So, he's back there. Um, yeah, I think that might be the rest of my figs, hopefully, this year for review. Well, I don't know if I should say hopefully, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, oh, it's been a great year, and my Chicago's were just loaded. I am going to be making jam again today. So... Anyhow, uh, I hope you all have a great day and um, enjoy this cooler weather if you are. I know Texas has finally got some relief down there. And anyway, uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.